Casey Cashman then. <laughs> this is Casey Cashman now. Welcome back to North Dakota. Today we are at Cashman Nursery and uh, Casey Cashman is joining me this morning. And Easter Sunday is coming up just this week, Casey. We've got some Easter lilies to talk about. And is there some special care that needs to go into these? You know, Easter lilies are uh, easy plant. They're blooming. If people pick them up now, uh, pretty easy. They only need water a couple times a week. Okay. Nothing so major. How long will these blooms last? Do they do they reform quite often? I see we've got some fresh ones that are ready. It's to gonna come take up. no. You know we're gonna get a big flash of blooms mm -hmm. now, and it's gonna last 10 to 14 days. Okay. And we may yeah. Th there's gonna be different times you get different blooms, but it's a quick shot. And greenhouses go for this time, just like rose growers go for yeah. you know Valentine's Day. Everything or you know another great example is poinsettias they're all grown for that certain time in December right and so they push the lilies for now and uh, you know lilies are interesting they they're brought to us from Japan in the 1800s I think they came here like 1880s mm -hmm. and uh, they flourished into a symbol of Easter mm -hmm. and whether it's the white flower there you go could well be you know there's different rumors and things they say it sprung from the tears of Jesus and the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're a beautiful, beautiful flower. What, is it, what are they as far as light? Do they want to, they want a lot of sunlight? They want a lot of sun, full light, you know. They've been pushed in these greenhouses, so you get them in your house. Now for Easter, they don't get full sun, it's okay, because yeah. they're, they've reached their apex. You know, like a poinsettia, you brought that up, that you can rejuvenate for the following year. Is, it, is an Easter lily something that you can have this year and again next people year? People do, people keep them alive. Uh, most people toss them out when they're done mm -hmm. with them. Same thing with poinsettias, but there's people that keep them going all year. Yeah. And you know, it's a fun little thing for people to keep a plant alive and have that, like, oh, that was last year's Easter lily and then to be able to go through all of what it takes to get it to bloom right. this time of year. It takes a lot of steps and a lot of planning to make it yeah. happen that way. All right, that's the Easter lily. Now, we're in the middle of winter, basically, even though the calendar says spring, <laughs> yeah. you know. But there is gonna come a time, not that far down the road, even, even coming up here on Easter Sunday, we're supposed to be in the 40s and things are looking like they're gonna improve. So pretty soon you're gonna see bare ground the uh, lawns and things like that have been under snow cover since mid-November. There's a lot of dirt that's been thrown on our boulevards. Casey, you say there's a lot of work that we have to do this spring. It's going to be a mess. Yards are going to be a mess. Gardeners are going to be late. You know, come from a time where you plant potatoes, mm -hmm. Good Friday, yep. Easter. I mean, this is when a lot of people like to get their potatoes in the ground. Yep. Uh, I don't think that's a happening. Nope. Unless you're going to not only be digging dirt, but you're going to have to get through quite a bit of snow yeah. to get to that dirt. And I buy potatoes from a farmer uh, down by Almont, and I happen to run into their daughter. And they're like, oh, I don't know if they're going to do potatoes this year. I'm like, of course they're going to do potatoes. It's just going to be late. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things that you talked about, <laughs> the boulevard, let's talk about lawns for a second before we get to the gardens. The boulevards, with all that sand and salt and thing that's been blown, thrown right. on there all winter long as they clean our streets. So what are some special things we need to do this spring? Your boulevard lawns are going to be a mess. I, I, have, if I, any, I have five feet of snow on my boulevard. Yeah. All the salt from that, you know, from clearing the roads is going to be going down into our lawns. So we need to counteract that with gypsum or sulfur and get that pH. The pH is, is sky high from all this alkalinity. We gotta get it down and you get it down with sulfur and I mean, it's gonna be a mess. People are gonna have to rake that sand and that salt out of their boulevards. Rake and sweep probably. Yes. Yeah. And they, they, they rent like these power sweepers, which are really slick mm -hmm. uh, because it's a lot of work, but you wanna get that physically, you gotta get that salt out of there. Yeah, and then spread out gypsum and be liberal with it. And you want to do that as soon as as soon as the snow clears yep, or, yep, or dries exactly. off a little bit. Okay. But the worst thing you can do is rake your lawn too early. Dr. Ron Smith, my professor at NDSU, so the worst thing you can do for your lawn is rake too early. You're only helping your dandelions. Oh, is that right? The ground temp needs to be 53 degrees All right. for Kentucky bluegrass and other grasses to germinate and to get going and growing. Dandelions can be colder. Weeds don't need that. 
So when you rake early, you're just helping your weeds. You're letting them get a start and uh, and uh, getting them going before your grass right. is ready to go. Right. Okay, what about the rest of the lawn? You got all the sand and dirt on the boulevards, but what about the rest of the lawn? It too has been buried. Right, and that's great. There'll be a lot of moisture and it's protected, so there shouldn't be, there could be some winter kill from the sure. too many heavy drifts. A lot of people like to use a pre-emergent fertilizer weed preventer. Okay. And they usually put it down in April. This year, I predict we're gonna be using it in May. Yeah, and it, it's the same thing. You wanna put that down just as the grass is waking up to bop those dandelions and the crabgrass over the head. Because those are annuals. They laid their seed last fall and they're gonna come up this spring. So you wanna put that down, that pre-emergent, it blocks the germination process. You wanna get it down right before they're about to wake up. So I'm predicting the week of Mother's Day for all right. that. Wow, yeah, things are just gonna all be a little bit later. We're down to a couple of minutes here. Tell me what we've got, uh, you know, you've got your miracle Grow. you've got different things here. Tell me quickly about we've what we've got. We've got spring have. bulbs okay. over here, Beautiful. the glads and all the other great sp spring bulbs, dahlias, and you name it. They're awesome. They're a little work, you dig them up in the fall, but the joy you get and the flowers yes. that, I mean, those dahlias are just the incredible. They're the first to bloom in the spring. Yeah, you know, and the tulips will be coming up and we yep. planted those last fall. Yep. But spring bulbs are fun. They'll be popping up through the snow, literally. Yeah. I've seen it, yeah. Exactly. You know, I think gardeners are gonna be jonesing to get out there and it's yep. gonna be late. So maybe some people wanna start some seeds in the house. Good idea. And if you wanna do that, you need a special germination soil and we have that at Cashman Nursery and other places we can help you get it mm -hmm. or however. But you can start your tomatoes and things early if you don't think you're going to get in the garden uh, at the right time. But I'm mostly worried about snow around the house Good causing point. ice dams. So if you're home with the kids today, you know, school's canceled yeah. uh, on Wednesday here. So uh, I think we're going to just want to look around the house, your downspouts and things, and make sure uh, water gets away right. and you don't have issues. Well, and you mentioned it, uh, a friend of this show is Zero Service Team, and you mentioned they're going to be very busy because of that, because of landscape right. leading to the house, and that's going to create some water problem. Casey, thank you so much. I want to wish you a happy Easter as well. Their greenhouse is really starting to fill up, so, you know, when the time is right, come on out to Cashman Nursery. Tell, who, tell me where we can find it. It's out uh, East Main, 3400 East Main. We say East on 10, north of the Penn, Bismarck. And we have a phone number, it's easy, 222 tree 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 tree. Just like Dad. <laughs> All right, by the way, say hi to Dan for us. I will do it, yeah. Easter. All right, thanks, Casey. Taking a break, we're back. We've got more coming up on North.